exciting day. We're going to pick up the new winter car. Um, had to sell the other car. The G35 finally said goodbye. The drive shaft's falling out, the power steering lines were gone, and it needed a lot of work that I didn't have the money for. So, we're going to pick up a new winter car, and Cass here is driving me. She found it on Facebook. And it should be a good car. It went from 20 or 3,300 bucks. I talked them down to 2,700, and we're just gonna go finalize the deal. Probably drive the car home tonight. So, see you guys when we get there. Peace. What's going on everybody? So today I just wanted to let you know that the G35 finally died, pretty much. So I lifted the car up to put the winter wheels on, the winter tires, it is getting pretty snowy, it's getting pretty bad. Just throwing the tires on and when we lifted it up, I went to check underneath it and it needs a, quite a few things more than I, what I had expected in the first place. So now that we lifted it up, we, I now know it needs a compression rod, upper ball joint, a lower control arm, a wheel bearing, it needs a power steering rack and the recirculation lines around it. It needs a drive shaft and that's pretty much it underneath the car. All of the suspension parts I probably could have dealt with myself over some time, but the main thing is the power steering rack and the drive shaft, just because the drive shaft, if it does let go while I'm driving, say on the highway at 100, it'll completely tear through the engine block and all of that, which I just can't deal with. I don't have the money to fix or buy another engine or swap it or anything like that power steering lines they continuously leak on my driveway uh, it just makes it unsafe to drive because the power steering does cut out in the middle of driving it makes it real hard to turn the car so I am gonna be selling this car I am looking for a new car and I'll probably be showing you guys that right now it's what we can I wanted just to show you guys the last look at the G35 I know you guys didn't see much of it but I've owned it for a couple years and I am gonna miss it so this is more of just my own tribute for it and time for new things So what you just saw is my new 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer ES. With 152 horsepower and 146 foot-pounds of torque, this thing's a real monster. I got the ES version, which is the economy sport with the five-speed manual in it. Has a two-liter inline four, so it is what it is. It's not very fast pretty much to put it in an easy way. There is reasons I bought this car. In the last clip, I showed you that I was selling my G35 sedan, just because the problems I had with it were too much for me to fix, but I found this car for a good price because I did need something to get to work and back, and I didn't want to bring out my 37, just because that is my summer car, and I don't want it to get rusty in the Canadian weather. I picked this car up for $2,700, which is a pretty good price for what it is. The mileage is high, which I, would rather be lower, it's at 268 I believe at the moment. Uh, the car I got for a pretty good price because 
what it is. It has absolutely no rust on it. It has new brakes all around, has new tie rod ends, pass safety with pretty much no problems. It, the paint is clean, there's no rust on the surface. I do need to touch it up a little bit, but for what I got it for, it was a great deal. So yeah, as I was saying, there is absolutely no rust on the car underneath or uh, on the paint. It is super clean. I'll see if I have any pictures of it from when I lifted it up, but underneath is really clean. There's no rust anywhere, which is nice to see considering it is a 2010, these cars would usually rust by this point in 10 years in Canada. There, it, The car drives amazingly. There is no problems to, to complain about at the moment. There, there's nothing I can complain about for getting it for $2,700. As I said, there is new brakes on it. There's a new tie rod ends on it that has a Borla exhaust system on it, which sounds pretty good. I'll show you in a couple minutes, but it does sound pretty good for what it is for a four cylinder. I'm pretty happy with what, what it came out to be like. The mileage on it, the gas mileage, I really can't complain about it. It's the best car I've owned. I've had two, two six cylinders, so. The gas mileage on this, I average about eight to nine liters per hundred kilometers, which is amazing in my in my point of view. I love it. Not having to pay that much for gas. Plus, it only takes the regular unleaded gas, so I'm paying 50 bucks to fill it up, and I can't really complain at all. The car is comfortable, so I'm good with driving in it for a while, even though I'm only going from work to back. So can't complain about that again there's not much I complain about this car so so the only things I really can complain about is the fact that it needs a cat it has a small exhaust leak and it has higher mileage than what I would have liked but for what it is I'm pretty happy with how it came out uh, this week it's going in for a few recalls that it has I think it has three outstanding at the moment one for the windshield wipers because the runoff of the water is going directly on the motor and it's starting to seize it up early Ones for the underneath the car, the cross member starts to corrode very easily, so those are two. I can't remember what the third one is, but it is going for three recalls in at the moment, so. Um, at the moment, I don't really have any future plans for the car. I may, just, may put some small mods on, such as like mud flaps, lights, stuff like that on, but at the moment, there's not much going on. I, mean, I gotta put new tires on for the winter, uh, because these all seasons aren't gonna cut it for the winter that's been, that's gonna be happening. There is a little bit of, snow on the ground a little bit ago and I was slipping and sliding all over the place so gotta get tires put on this as soon as possible they're gonna be mounted I think this week hopefully and then it should be ready for winter uh, I'm hoping I'm putting mud flaps on it at some point I would enjoy I do like the mud flap look on this car and I just need to do some paint touch-ups that's all I really got to do to this car if I decide to do anything more like mod it any later down the road I'll happily do it but at the moment there's not too many too many things I'm planning to do just because I need to keep it slightly reliable so I've owned this car about two weeks now uh, I really enjoy the car. It is nice. It's comfortable. It drives beautifully. The only problem is that it is slow, but it's a winter beater. I can't ask for too much. So what it is, I'm happy with how the car stands at the moment. And the only reason I bought the car is because I needed a car to get from work to back and my other car had too many problems. I'm going to miss my G35. I really am because I did enjoy that car a lot, but I needed to get something that, that isn't going to cause me as many problems, I hope. It's a newer car. Not as many problems on it at the moment, and I'm really hoping it stays that way just to keep me reliable and easy to get from here to work to back and blah blah blah. But there will be some videos coming on this car with these small things I want to do that I should have told you about. I might debadge the car as well, just for that little extra to the little extra flair that it makes in my car. But I'm gonna show you the exhaust right now and then we'll we'll go from there. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like as it helps me and the channel out a lot. If you wanna see more of my content, please feel free to subscribe. And if you wanna see more of what I do uh, in between videos, please go follow my Instagram, follow my stream, and that's about it. It's all gonna be in the links in the description below. But I think that's it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.